Kia ora. Um, welcome back. So this tutorial we're going to go over how to take our design and put it into to layout mode. So um, uh, I've got those open uh, in the top menu bar and the panel. If you don't have those there you can right click and say uh, show um, panels or toolbars depending on what you're wanting to do and bring those up. Um, in the layers tab, uh, we'll just leave that for now. We can come over here um, into the layout um, panel and you can see that we don't have any so we're going to create a new one and uh, we can call it, let's call it um, 16 by 9 for now. Um, we could call it page 1, doesn't really matter. Let's actually call it page uh, 01. Um, Initial detail count, uh, let's maybe have two, so top and front, uh, size custom, uh, and we want it landscape, and we want it to be width for 20 by uh, 236 millimeters, um, and that gives us a format that will fit 16 by 9 on a full screen or uh, can also be printed out at A3. Um, so here we've got uh, the basic sheet laid out um, and then in this case we can come into that view and go to the layers and we can control what we see in that view. So if we turn um, Let's turn the reference drawing off because uh, we don't want that. Uh, and then we can maybe zoom in on some of these parts. Um, we get a bit of the idea. Um, we might actually reformat these. So come out of that. So click out. Uh, click on that. And then let's click on the corner. And then we can just bring that across. Click on this one, click on the tool up there and bring that across, something like that maybe, down here. Uh, and then we can click in here and pan over and start to get a better view. Uh, let's put it over like that maybe. We can come up to the properties view here and start to get some sizes. So if we put that, let's try that. Uh, so one millimeter equals 0.1 of a meter. So that actually works quite well for what we're trying to do. So we're starting to get a, a, a reasonable scale now. Uh, so uh, we can get that working a little bit better. Tick in here. Uh, well, let's double click back in there and set that to, I'm going to set that to uh, monochrome. I think that's going to look the best for what we're trying to do. Um, and then well, let's do an elevation for now. So uh, get the right view that we want. Pretty sure it's that one. Uh, move that around. We want to get that the same so let's come up to the properties for that and scale that to 1 to 10. Well yeah 1 to 100 I'd imagine. Uh, so we can just bring this in and over a little bit. Um, Let's change that view as well. So double click in there, set that to monochrome as well. So um, we're getting some of these things arranged. So we've got our sort of bird's eye view uh, and then an elevation. Maybe let's have a uh, another sort of detail view I guess so if we come into the main value, uh, menu for layout and just click up here so we don't want to copy we want what's this one add detail view from the second one over so we can click in 
here and uh, if we click into it so you can see we've highlighted it uh, and actually we want to sort of maybe let's just do a set view let's start with perspective see how that goes maybe we want the three let's just try that and we can set that to monochrome as well um, so we've got the sort of a few views going on uh, maybe we want to bring this over a little bit let's give it a bit more room uh, come over to layouts and we need two pages for the first one so we can literally uh, copy this so we can right click and duplicate layout uh, I'm going to come in here and then rename so rename uh, make that page two so we know we're on this one so we can see what happens if we change this view we might want it to get down inside or a bit closer so we'll have a little look let's just do to the best of our ability maybe that's quite interesting something like that and then let's delete that one and make this a bit bigger click in there let's just pan around a bit that could be quite interesting so just see how that goes so if we just go back to page one that's sort of saving those which is quite good uh, and then there so this is a bit rough but it's a starting point um, just to get something done and out the uh, um, door so to speak so that you've gone through the whole process even though it's um, not quite complete it's uh, the first variation of or iteration I should say the first iteration um, that you've got something done then you can build on it for the for the next one